Pace TV in association with Illingworth and Gregory. Zanka, what a win. Describe the emotion when the goal went in and at the final whistle. Well, it's, it's difficult. It's still busing. Um, it's been it's been coming. I feel like we've been uh, we've been performing good, and we've been uh, waiting for a moment like this, and then and, and for it to come in, in in stoppage time, and the way it is on a sunny day in Yorkshire. Well, it couldn't be uh, more picturesque. What's the atmosphere like in the dressing room now? As I said before, it's still buzzing. Um, I don't even want to go home. <laughs> it's just like you know, you just want to feed up the energy that's here. Um, wanted to stay out on the field if, we, if that was be possible but um, yeah just great great we left it late but did you always have that belief that one opportunity would rise yeah I think so I th think especially after Huggy's um, effort uh, that went just wide um, I felt like we kept pushing um, and I just for some odd reason you just felt like today was our day and that's why I was suddenly still up there after um, after a long throw in and, and, and it, it just slotted home, yeah. Tom Ince will grab all the headlines, but we have to talk about your assist. Did you mean it? Did you see him? Talk us through the moment. Um, well, basically, um, I know Lolo is a big handful, so I just thought if I run off, off him, um, it might bounce down to him or to me. Um, and yeah, it did, but it was too too much too tight of the ankle for me to um to do anything with it and i thought my left foot is so slow so um i might telegraph it so let me whip it with the right foot and hope that somebody's um in that hole that it'll um it'll go through if i get it past uh, i think it was jan Mat. so it did and from now on i think brookie said it best it, it just felt like it was slow motion until inti actually touched the ball because you felt like okay it could be it it could be something uh, and he meets it Great um, opportunistic run from him. Um, awesome. We've been saying all season that a late goal was coming. We have chances at Brighton and chances in the weeks leading up to that. It, it epitomises the effort and the spirit of this team that it, they never give in. You always fight until the end. Yeah, I think so. And especially today, I think we all could feel that um, today could be our day, especially we had the game. Southampton Chelsea going on and, and you kind of felt like okay 2-0 down um, for Chelsea and then suddenly they turned it around and like we can we can do something similar to that today and I think um, stoppage time stoppage time winner no, nothing beats that and I suppose you had to be clinical as well because it was quite hard to create chances against a well organised Watford side yeah definitely I think at times uh, they were standing behind and we were pressing and, 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 and playing our game and I think that today was a, a, a great fought game and Luckily, it turned to, to our side for once. We have to talk defensively as well, another clean sheet. Are you more excited about that than the goal you set up? Nah, it's the other one that grabs the headlights. So uh, I'll, be in a, I'll be on match the day, so I'll be happy about that. <laughs> um, no, nah, basically, um, we all know that defence is the backbone of, of, of our entire um, team. And, and, and we do that, uh, we defend with the entire team. and, and, and don't really let them get to any big chances today, which is great. And then, then you don't. You only need one. And and today, and we left it late, but it just makes it feel a lot more better. The fans were outstanding again before the game. Everyone called for them to be the twelfth man. They really pushed you on. Yeah, definitely. I think today, um, today is one of the days that our fans are going to remember for for a long, long time and they'll tell their children, grandchildren and children's, uh, grandchildren's children about this, uh, this day in this game um, and hopefully this is um, what will um, help us push over the line. Obviously a great win but there's still four games to go so focus is purely on Everton now. Yeah, definitely. I think now um, we'll be smart. Um, we'll, we'll leave our hats here um, and people are going to be gone for a few days um, and to get a mental rest, uh, a little bit of restitution for the for the body and mind, and then we come back um, ready for for a training week um, after next weekend. Um, we'll be in for some testing and stuff like that uh, in the week too, but nothing crazy. And then, yeah, it's about all about Everton, but that's two weeks from now, and and we need to to enjoy this win with our fans and, and ourselves, our families, and then we start again in a week.